Peter but I was able to get from WMZQ, y'all listen to them every morning. That's right. They were just named CMA Radio Personalities of the Year. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Ben and Brian. How you guys doing tonight? Give it up for Martina the Bride! Now I'm going to let you guys do your thing, okay? So don't screw it up. No, I'm kidding. Here you go. I'll give you some heat. No pressure. Thank you so much for letting us do this. You guys want to sit down for a second? We have a story to read to you guys. You guys excited? Well, Ben Campbell has brought a lot of stars with him to read twice the night before Christmas tonight. So let's get started with the most important guy who lives just up the street at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue to start twice the night before Christmas, President George W. Bush. I love him out there. I love how they're all looking around for where he is, sir. No, I'm right here, I'm right here. He's, He's in right the here. chair, kids. Right here. He's right here in the chair. That's good. So we got we got them already. Absolutely, you got to suspend imagination at this point. It works right? much better on the radio, doesn't it, sir? Well, it does. Are you ready? I look pretty good, though, don't I? You do. The Botox is working. Oh, yes, it is. All right, here we go. You ready? For the night before Christmas, and all through the mouse, not a creature was stirring, not even a house. I, I think he got that wrong. I don't know if your intelligence was wrong, sir, but it's. it's well, I've got a few things wrong, but uh, that's okay. We're making progress every day. All right. Okay, all right. All right. Okay. Are we ready for another celebrity? <laughs> Former President Bill Clinton, are you ready, sir? I am ready. The stockings were hung by the chimney of the in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. <laughs> and not a Hooters in the chicken wing. Because <laughs> that's what I want, baby. What kind of stockings are those, sir? Fish that stock. Thank you. Alright. Alright, from Dancing with the Stars. Did you guys watch Dancing with the Stars? We've got Bruno, one of the judges. Look at all of these kids. They're so beautiful. Alright, Bruno, you get to be the next line. The children were gnashing about slogging their beds while the fish and the sugar plums danced in their heads. You know the sugar plums, they dance better than them. It's Midor Mario Lopez. Yes, sir. We said. <laughs> we just filled it. Oh, I tell you what, kids. My wife, Joy, and I had a kerchief, her and her kerchief, and I had my cap. We had just settled down for a long winter's day. Now, if you're going to take a nap, don't hire Clay Aiken to fill in for you. He'll embarrass the hell out of your co-host. You know what I'm saying? Oh, we can watch the language reading. Oh, that's a, oh, I apologize. All right, Toby Keith. All right. Any Toby Keith fans? When that bear on the lawn, there arose such a clatter that I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. You know, usually it's the Dixie chicks, they come to roll my yard. <laughs> Man, the rain's be soaking my windows, but this was different. Y'all. This was different. This was totally different. And they tell you what happens next from the Aflac commercials, Gilbert Godfrey. Away to the window, I flew like a flash. Aflac. And tore open the shutters and threw up the sash. I knew I shouldn't have eaten the sash for dinner. Yes. You can't digest the sash. Dr. Phil, do you want to pick it up from here? Oh, absolutely. Now, the moon on the breast of the new fallen snow, uh -huh. it had given luster to midday to objects below. Now, what that means is that the moon was so bright that it actually made nighttime look like day. It was like, it looked like lunchtime because the moon was so bright out there. Uh -huh. All right. How's that working for you? Is that explanation working for you? Okay. You pick it up when I'm putting down? Yes. Okay, all right. I'm just getting real with you people, okay? Okay. All right. Uh, Academy Award winner, Morgan Freeman. When what to my wondering eyes should appear, but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer, with a little old driver so lovely and quick, I knew in a moment that it must be St. Nick. You know St. Nick, he lives up on the North Pole, right? Do you, you, you know who else lives up there? Yeah, elves. elves. Yeah, they live up there. Yeah. Penguins. Uh, 
That's the South Pole. I don't know if you've been sharing Every intelligence with President Bush. A female will walk 500 miles just to lay an egg. Yes. That's right. I think it's the South Pole. All right. Okay. Moving on. Keith Jackson. You guys ever watch sports? Keith Jackson's a legendary broadcaster. This is where the story gets really good when we need a sportscaster to do it. Are you ready, Keith? Well, Nelly, more rapidly than he goes, as cross as the team, and he whistled and shouted and called him my name. Now, Besser, now, Dancer, now, Prancer and Vixen. On coming on, keep it on, Donner and Vixen. To the top of the post, to the top.